we can stand next to each other and march together. But if we don't organize after that, if we don't get together and strategize, then we've marched for nothing. The marching was pointless. If we want to end systematic oppression, it's going to take more than just black people. Even if we just look at demographics, if we're 13% of the population, like to really move this thing forward, we're going to need more folks. For me, uh, being an ally means that you actively engage in supporting people their work, their lives, who are different than you. Actionable steps. What organizations are you working with? What marginalized groups of people are you, are you trying to support? And ultimately, how are you trying to use your privilege and power to support those who have less? And so, you know, when it comes to, say, racism in this country, white sisters and brothers have to show up. We have seen a lot of really horrible things, and we've seen a really fantastic reaction. Uh, people in the streets all over, not going home, showing up every day. White people in the United States, their main job right now to listen. Being an ally is almost just saying like, okay, I might not fully ever understand what you're going through, but I'm willing to listen and help you get everyone else to listen too. If we're really gonna get free, we have to understand that your wound is my wound and my wound is your wound. But 100 years later, the Negro still is not free. In a real sense, the followers of Martin Luther King Jr. and people who believe in him became much more determined to go all the way and see what the end was going to be. So what do we do? Dr. King said, what do we do? Where, where do we go from here? That was his last book. His last book and his last thing. Where do we go here? Chaos of Community.